like bread and butter pickles, um, or even regular pickles for that matter. Either way, it'll work fine. Um, uh, I just find that the spice goes really well with bread and butter pickles. Um, this is obviously a very simple ordeal. Um, what you do is you you're looking to heat it up. Don't worry about deseating or anything. Just uh, cut it a couple strips and kind of cube it. What you're doing is just dicing it up. Do that with smaller chilies or your big ones or you know, whichever chilies you got. But uh, I don't de seed or de vein them in this particular case. Just uh, you know, wash them good, dry them, and uh, dice them up. Put seeds and all because I'm looking for the extra heat. So I got me some cut chilies, got them diced up, seeds and all. I got this thing of bread and butter pickles right here, and I'm going to make them spicy. Now that's a lot of chilies to put in this, so I'm only going to do about half of them. You want them to be completely submerged. Lit it up, shake it around a few times. What I like to do is put the lid on it real good, turn it upside down like this. A lot of the air that I was incorporated in there will actually work itself out and just will flow up to the top. Um, I got a bunch of extras I didn't want. These would be too ridiculous. So, what I do is I got an extra thing of a uh, pickles that I used all the pickles out of but I saved the juice and I'm going to put these dice things in there and what I'm going to have is anytime I want to put some chilies in a dish that little bit of the vinegar flavor won't hurt the dish any I just grab a spoon Spoonful of diced chilies anytime I'm cooking and the situation calls for them. There you go. These are going to be spicy pickles. And these are just going to be diced. Uh, these are just going to be diced uh, chilies that are, you know, and basically just pickle juice. And that's just a couple of things you can do to heat up some pickles if you want them spicy. Or uh, if you got some chilies that you need to do something with uh, before they go bad, you can uh, do like this. And as you add to it, you can actually add uh, uh, distilled vinegar to this. As you add you know, diced chilies to it as well. And anytime you have a dish that needs to use some chilies, you don't feel like chopping any up. As long as 
you got to keep in mind that they are going to be pickled. So you'll have that slight vinegar flavor. You have you know vinegar flavor to them, but aside from that, uh, I use them all the time like this. And actually, I use them before they ever go bad. I don't know how long it would they would last, but there you have it. A couple more uses for your chilies. And what you do is just keep working the stuff around. It'll all incorporate into it. Like I said, I like to actually put them in and store them upside down a little bit, make sure the lid's on good. And that'll uh, allow all that air to work itself out. And it'll actually sink down. And my cat's letting me know she's there. Well, I'll try that out. You like spicy pickles? Um, or if you've never had any before, uh, give them a shot. I like doing it with bread and butter pickles because I find that the sweetness offsets the heat a little bit. But uh, really, really makes them tasty. But uh, give it a try. I think you'll like it.